and welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. And uh, I am reviewing the Obsidian. Uh, now, I want to say hello, everyone. Sorry if I'm groggy. I turned the TV down for air. She's fresh out of surgery, and she's resting. And I've noticed you guys, all our little happy subscribers, must watch me more than him. Yes, because we've noticed that when <clears throat> it's just me, uh, we get somewhere between 10 and 20 views. When Rita's in it, we get 47 to 400 views. So, <laughs> I guess I'm just not loved. Um, anyways, the Obsidian. Uh, me and Rita at one point bought a box of these, uh, the black and the white noise. Um, this is the basic Obsidian. Um, I think this wrapper actually says Obsidian across it, but it's very hard to read. It reminds me of that Steve Winwood album where it said Winwood, except for you can read that. Um, I do like the little symbol there. It reminds me for some reason of Skyrim, but that's about as far as the coolness goes on Obsidian uh, to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this outer band, rather large outer band. Um, now, this is a Brazilian Habano Lajero wrapper. And not too long ago, I did another cigar review with a Lajero wrapper. Uh, and it is very rare to find a Lajero wrapper. Uh, I think it was the Cane Nub that had a Lajero wrapper. Mm, yes. uh, because, yes, because of where the leaves are located on the plant, they tend to be less than ideal for doing as a wrapper. And they tend to be heavily textured. Um, not very pretty leaves. But... You know, it works for this. You can see that it's got pieces missing and stuff. That's typical. Oh, um, talking about our cigar review for a minute, I highly recommend if you haven't tried it, Long John Silvers. Oh, yes, Rita ate Long John Silvers for her first time, and she loved it. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking about going tomorrow since I got a six ninety nine. All you can eat fish fry. So, mm -hmm. anyways, this is a Criollo 98 binder. Uh, don't remember what video it was, but I did a, a little bit of background on the Criollo 98, uh, which is essentially a hybrid that is blue mold resistant uh, to the Criollo wrapper. So it's essentially just Criollo wrapper, just blue mold resistant. Uh, and it's got Nicaraguan and Dominican long fillers. Uh, and the Criollo 98 binder, or the Criollo 98 plant, kind of replaced the Habano 3000 plant. Um, so, anyways. So, one of our subscribers on the Good Double Happiness said, interesting review, lol. I think many manufacturers has a had a bad blend. Thanks. Oh. And then your latest one, which I was just going over since I got it, uh, today was agreed was meh for the Brasilia. Ah. From our friend JS, so. So, uh, very spicy smelling wrapper. You want me to give a sniff or just, you don't want someone who's... It's okay for now. <clears throat> it is a very nice smelling wrapper. Rita, you wish to smell, smell. I'm not going to deny you while you're recuperating and out of it. Don't shove it up here. <laughs> Actually, this is a dark, oily chocolate wrapper. Dark, oily chocolate, she says. That she smokes like a dream, too. No, you and me, neither one liked the obsidians because they kept expanding on us and popping. Uh, it, it was notorious. Whole box. Uh, one out of like seven did not have that problem like where it would just puff up and the wrapper uh, would split down the side. Stock is home run. Cool. We're watching a Royals game, too. Hey, isn't that one of the dudes we cashed in on? Oh no! No, no. you asked that last night. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. The wonderful I'm... things drugs can do to us when we're coming out of surgeries. Oh yeah. Kansas City, 3, Detroit, 0. Hmm. 
Mm. Sweetness left on the lips. Kind of a honey pepper. Reminds me very much of uh, a vodka I had. Uh, it was a uh, honey pepper vodka. Remember, the Russians really liked it in our town. Oh yeah, that stuff was really. Stout. Oh, only problem is that also drinking. made me feel like I just like <clears throat> swallowed a cup of flour with nothing to drink. <laughs> I didn't exactly like it, but the first taste was really good. I think the best vodka is a cream filled one. And yes, here at Living Simply Fun, would you like to uh, sample out other drinks? Oh, can't just stick to one. No. Nope. And yes, so you all know our lovely subscribers. As you said, it's really good what drugs can do to you when you're coming off of surgery. And on a retro hell, very heavy hay notes. Um, As I said, it's a dark, oily, earthy And this is not taste. infused, and it's leaving a very pleasant sweetness on the lips. So, anyways, instead of boring you for the next, like, five minutes, just puffing away, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it, and we'll get to the halfway point, and I'll tell you more. So, see you at the halfway. Hello, and welcome back to the halfway point of this obsidian. Now, main thing I can say is it's got a very oily flavor. And when I say that, I mean motor oil. Uh, this is kind of a cedary motor oil. And that's about the primary flavors. Uh, some spices, perhaps uh, pumpkin pie spice, but primarily motor oil. Uh, this would be very good to actually pair with Lafrag, which Rita keeps ten bringing up. Scotch. It's a 10 year scotch, Hi, but everyone. it tastes like motor I'm oil. It's still uh, in and out of things, but when I do add something to Aaron's video, I will. So, at least one thing I am say, uh, can say is it is not puffed up and exploded yet. So. Maybe all I needed to do in the past was dry box, and I really didn't know anything about dry boxing until more recently because I am still learning myself. But one thing I can pick up is flavors, and one thing I like to do when I'm doing these reviews is essentially try to give you a review from the standpoint of somebody who's not exactly trained for this, because you're not trained for this. Uh, can you sit there and say, I'm picking up this flavor and that flavor and all these other flavors, and you know, have everybody say, oh, yes, yes, that's exactly. Talking. But when you're kind of a new smoker or you just smoke now and then, uh, it's nice to be able to hear somebody review who's just doing an honest review from somebody who's a layman, basically, with cigars and not one of these people who work for some magazine who's been smoking cigars for 30 years and taking courses on how to tell what the flavors are. I'm not saying that most reviewers are that way, but there are quite a few reviewers out there who have had a lot of experience, do work for cigar companies, etc., etc. Uh, I'm just kind of an average Joe. Huh. So. I just wanted to say to our fellow subscribers out there, it's dozing off again, that I wanted to say that as soon as I am healed, I will get there and I will do the reviews that Johnny Sticks and all of you have been waiting for on the Ogre Asylum. And mm -hmm, the 80 ring gauge and Ogre they, Asylum. And no, I know no, the one you're the looking for. The Asylum 13. Oh, the Asylum 13 80 ring gauge. That's right. And uh, <clears> the <throat> other one I know you're looking forward to is the Opulence 3. Yes, exactly. So, anyways, with that said, I will see you. No, no, no. I'll see you in the final third of this. Hello and welcome back to the final third of this uh, Obsidian, and uh, way to go Jake Arietta for that no-hitter tonight. That was impressive. So, and in fact that's why I'm getting to this almost a little late. So far I've been enjoying this far more than the entire box that I bought before. Uh, Semi-sweet profile, more spice here in the final third, uh, the cedar's still there, 
it's got some decent output um, and I'm thinking this is another good cigar from Abe Flores. I've been impressed by the Obsidian. Then I bought a box. Then I was unimpressed, but I was impressed by the short ones. And so I guess it's one of those that depends really on the mood, whether I'm impressed by it or whether I just sit there and say, nah. it, it is uh, a, a rather strong flavor, though. So if you're looking for strong flavors, it's got strong flavors. The thing is that it's only about a medium-bodied cigar with very strong flavors. So I don't feel like I've had too much nicotine from this. And, but it's a refreshing cigar in the fact that I feel like I've had a cigar. It doesn't make me feel like I want another one right now. Uh, so I feel satisfied from it. And that's a good thing when it comes to cigars. Um, however, in some aspects, this would be too strong of a cigar for most of the time because the flavors are just so very rich. This is like dipping into the double dark chocolate cake with a fudge brownie on the bottom and fudge topping with chocolate chips and shaved Godiva chocolate all over it. And you know, you, by the time you're done with that, you're oozing with chocolate to the point that you think you're going to end up being in a diabetic oh. coma or something. This cigar makes you think, I, I don't think I can have another one because I'm going to end up in a cigar coma. Um, very nice cigar, though, for the most part. Um, I would recommend it, especially since they come off as about $2.50 a stick or so to $3, which is actually really affordable. So uh, if you haven't tried one, Definitely go ahead and try one. Uh, they are made by PDR or Pinar del Rio, uh, and Abe Flores did blend them. So uh, I, I like them. Uh, and uh, I think the white noise was better, and one day I'll review the white noise live too. But right now, I get the Obsidian Dark, and very decent smoke. So with that <laughs> said, please add and subscribe. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, feedback. Your thoughts if you've had this, your, do you think I'm uh, right on, do you think I'm off the mark, uh, what are your recommendations, etc. Just keep it all nice, and uh, that's all we ask, and uh, enjoy every puff.